What's up, Sky Watchers? What is up indeed? Tuesday, April 29th, 2025. Ionospheric heaters are at the heart of most catastrophes, and we've seen weather warfare at Chernobyl, Fukushima, laser induced volcanic eruptions, the artificial auroras caused by harp operations, the splitting of the polar vortex by ISCAT ionospheric heaters, CERN ripping a hole in Earth's magnetic field, earthquakes in Turkey, Lahaina, Paradise, Hurricane Helene, and so many more. Facilities like HARP, Superdarn, and ISCAP burn holes in the ionosphere, allowing radiation to stream into our atmosphere. Let's get to the heart of today's video, the power outages in Spain and Portugal. Leading authorities there blame this event on atmospheric-induced oscillation. So what is atmospheric-induced oscillation? It's a wave-like motion or oscillations in the atmosphere caused by sudden changes in temperature or pressure. These oscillations can be triggered by events like extreme heating, large-scale energy releases, and can interact with power infrastructure. These atmospheric waves are often called gravity waves, thermal oscillation, or acoustic gravity waves. And recently, I've been talking a lot about electromagnetic acoustic wave propagation technology. And here it shows up in this event. Atmospheric pressure oscillation in the extra low frequency range can also affect human mental activity. So what's happening right now that could possibly be creating these disturbances in our atmosphere? Atmosense by DARPA, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. DARPA is currently conducting operations using the Earth's atmosphere as a sensor or a weapon and in the verbiage in the latest experiment talks about using acoustic wave propagation resulting from a kiloton's equivalent yield disturbance originating near the ground. In 2024, DARPA conducted two field tests in New Mexico. Each field test included two pairs of sequential 1-ton and 1-10-ton controlled explosions for a total of six detonations. As a way to test their new project, Atmosense, using acoustic wave propagation, and now, the power grid goes down in Spain due to an atmospheric event. I see a very clear connection with these events, and I will link all of this information in the description box. Alright guys, we have a lot more to talk about, so make sure you're following along. A huge shout out to Jackie, Thankful, and the Facebook subscribers for supporting the work. Much love and many thanks. Okay, Sky Watchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, Keep looking up.